Freya, when Hildesvini went to Helheim, how did he not freeze to death? A perk of the Yofer. The boar shifting warriors of Vanaheim, as wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure. So long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. Enemy behind you, Kratos! Use a shield strike! Another camp defeated. Aye, and one step closer to giving the realms a shot at healing. Now, regarding security... Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Let me hear. Lady Sif. Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, Your Majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanir's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Einherjar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleating at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Back to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? <laughs> we don't do that kind of thing here. This realm provides us what we need. What if the winter is harsh, or if the food spoils? Then we hunger, and we learn. Perhaps had you not burned Freya for trying to teach you... I did not light that fire. But I was there to witness. Even in death, Odin's legacy of poor leadership endures. Working together, we can break that cycle faster than apart. I got some new goodies to forge! Of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, 
Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you got us. Uh, about your brother. I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day, and I'm just... You know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know it too. I... I thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Lunda. Hi there. I wanted to ask, do you want me to stop talking about your muscles and, uh, and, and, and how you look? and stuff, because it seems like it's making you all wiggly, like in a bad way. It did, but no longer. Oh, okay. So I, so I should stop? Sounds like I should stop. No. Oh, all right! For every camp we destroy, we find two more. It's almost impressive. I see another realm tear from Garn. Shall we close it? Lassa! Atreus would be happy to know we tied up some of his loose ends. Perhaps we should let Hrasfolger know. 
is truly thankless work. It must be done. I'm sure the civilians were protecting would thank us. Well, thank both of you. Me, they would just point at and scream. Light is certainly gaudier than I remember it. Aye. I thought it might be why Freya chose this realm. A change of pace from home. The elves have abandoned the Temple of Light at long last. Ragnarok took a brutal toll on them. They have retreated to mourn the dead, to take stock of their people. How long will the peace last? Before another Brother, incursion. The wee bastard's about to explode! <laughs> <laughs> Creature Atreus heard. It lies out in the desert. Wonder what it could be. Most of the larger beasts of Alfheim have long been dead. My brother would have known. Freyr loved this realm. And the realm loved him in turn. Still does. I'm sure he blamed me for having to leave. That was not your fault. I know that. But I can't fault him for wanting to protect his family. Even at the cost of plunging this realm back into war. Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. <coughs> well, good for her.
Good thing we didn't miss this. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Well, sure. Might not look like it, but there's loads of life out there. Just gotta know where to look. And where would that be? No idea. Best of luck, though! Well, oh, heading off already? Got time to check? Feels half crazy to say it, but... I got a good feeling about that Throod girl. Never mind in what family she came from. <laughs> I quite agree. She's an impressive young woman. I thought you might. Why, well, I ain't never seen anyone quite so awestruck as when she laid eyes on you back at the hole. Like, meeting her idol. She was apparently quite eager to learn from all the Valkyries. Now that she has Mjolnir, I expect her next stop will be to begin training with Sigrun. I think Brock and Zendry would be happy knowing that hammer's finally with someone worthy to wield it. And a future Valkyrie, no less. Gulon in Alfheim? And Sled trained by the looks of it. Most unusual. I've never seen such obedience in Gulon. <laughs> There is some kind of magic at work here. Regardless, it should make desert travel downright pleasant. Were it not for a brutal sandstorm. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? How do you hope to find anything in all this? Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Not getting up there with all this sand in your way.
That's some of Cavassia's poetry. is inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels aplenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. Look there! An entrance to the caves! This cave extends underneath the desert. Aye. A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Perhaps we'll find Atreus' wounded animal down here. Lead the way, Kratos. I trust you to not get us lost underground. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
These poor elves, blinded by hate, lashing out at everything and everyone for their fate. Ray will not listen to reason. Combat is unavoidable. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Still, I wish it were not the case. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. This creature Atreus heard, why wait until now to free him? It was not a priority. We were too busy attempting to stave off Ragnarok to indulge in any desert dalliances. Shame. I imagine Atreus would have enjoyed a quest to free an injured animal. Yes, he would have. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to twist the knife. You did not. Atreus has chosen his path. I trust him to be safe. with my own son when he was Atreus's age. Balder craved adventure, but with the words of the Norns repeating in my head... Your worry consumed you, as my rage once did to me. You overcame it, eventually. Thanks to Atreus, and his mother. Yes. Perhaps if Odin had loved his children as much as he loved using them, both would still be with us. Good, Red. 
Atreus reminds me more of Freyr in his youth than of Baldur. His sensitivity, his compulsion to help any and all in need. That is his mother's influence. Despite all attempts to train him otherwise, Atreus was eager to help lost spirits or run errands for the dwarves during our travels together. Faye's influence runs deeper than that. Why do you think you're the one assaulting a cave full of hostile dark elves to save a wounded creature? Hmm. Excursions like this won't serve as training for Atreus. We're an excuse to gather resources while testing his abilities. But I made him a promise. His voice as my guide. And his voice told you to come out here? He would approve. Strange, that means more to me now than it did before he left. <laughs> seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! That howling... sounds familiar. It's the Song of the Sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. I'd wager that there's nothing here a well-placed throw of the axe can't solve. If we can clear those rocks away, we might get the right angle. We've cut it loose, but it can't seem to escape. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. How in the realms did they capture such a large one? Hathkafers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. 
Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this Hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Freya would have wanted us to do everything in our power to restore this realm. We will free it. Imagined I'd see a half goofa fly again. Can't believe the lad missed this. The storm is gone. The song of the sands has returned to Alfheim, albeit somewhat diminished from how I remember it as a child. The trace will be glad to hear it is no longer in pain. You look forward to telling him. One day, yes. You gave him a gift, allowing him to walk his own path. I know that wasn't easy. I know you cared for him as well. You have always done right by Atreus. He is the best of us. <laughs> well, nice to be able to have a real conversation out here for once. Valin's diagrams. You spoke of his conscience. Aye. He saw that the Aesir would likely use his powerful weapons to cut down his fellow dwarves, so he ripped out his design pages and scattered them. And what of him? Well, the Allfather found out. He wasn't terribly pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh, a bit before my time. 
you tell? We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Set that aside for now. Come. Come under the cure! Of a cold and bitter of a place. The Berserker! Ah! 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 Oh! <laughs> 
Pay the king a visit and give him more of the same. We have seen this before. Revenge will not bring you peace. Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself.
Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. Brother, you're covered in my thoughts. Bad for the Asgardians, and even worse for the Midgardian refugees. Learning the god they indebted themselves to didn't care for them at all. Such a profound betrayal. Aye, their homes will not be the only thing they will be rebuilding. Freya. Do you mind picking up that story about your brother? You mentioned a giant had come to Vanaheim to teach you of the Bifrost. Yes, Gerd. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. No more for now. Focus.
sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. And would prefer it remain that way. They are getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. I take it the romance with his teacher ended poorly? It did for him. Enough talk for now. Be ready. <laughs> they are getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. I take it the romance with his teacher ended poorly? It did for him. Freya was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. Another time. We must focus.
There we are. No more droga dens, no more Hertha. One less thing to worry about. You worry? Oh, never while you're around. Oh, warrior of rippling muscle. <laughs> Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. Odd. It looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freyr and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hafgufa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! Freyr never saw how poorly these lands fared in his absence, did he? He would appreciate our efforts out here. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hofgufa is free. This architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. <laughs> when I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Amir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Oh! 
Well, there you go. <clears throat> Enemy behind you, Kratos! <laughs> Good red! Behind you! Look out! don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. Or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. There. That hive doesn't like sound, remember? Good eye. Let's continue, shall we?
These half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. <laughs> I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face when it's free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would make. Back to the surface, then. Oh! <laughs> 
Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. The fate of these creatures, it reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now, don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. Yeah! Years we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Yet again. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even...
these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. I can get misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? A monument to Freya. I wonder if he ever saw this. You may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. That did something. Down there, the ring of crystal shards glow. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say... Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. I only hope... That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. Changing arrows! 
This is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Ayn. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. What? See if I can pull it off. No. That's all my brother's tributes. Do you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. If Rayer didn't bother taking them when he went home for them, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. <clears throat> An elven library? An archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves. <laughs> this book is sealed, but there is an inscription. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry. Sitting here, forgotten. What a waste. Swathma. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use the shield strength, brother.
She's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. The elves do not need protection from their history. They need access. A new chapter awaits. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Fay passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Shame, that's the last of Cavassier's poems. Why not write your own? Hmm. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Now, why would anyone go and lock a book? <laughs> Seems silly, ask me. I'm sure I can crack it open for you and get it over to Biggs and Bay. Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Specky and Spana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. <laughs> you know, Freyer loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. A vengeful Berserker gravestone. The Elves either yeah. stole it. The King will lead us to glory! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
hunting these berserkers. I am reminded of our search for the Valkyries two winters ago. I can see the similarities, aye. There is one difference. With the Valkyries, you lack... Spite. Brother, I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't know the full tale. I know how it feels to be wronged, and how it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. I... Uh. Another carving. The last ingredient in the recipe. One more ingredient around here, brother. The meeting of Yari and Soma. Ah, right. So the two agreed traveling together might be beneficial. And less lonely. Aye. Their bond with each other grew quickly, and the meals they shared became legendary. It was said that to dine with them could sustain you for weeks. That was the last of the ingredients. We could take them back to the cauldron in Midgar. Another sleeping beast, the handiwork of Alvi Stonefoot. second key. Sure enough. It's been a bit since we've unlocked a mysterious door. Excited brother. Mm. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Something is coming. And it's not happening.
a drake doing back there? Your guess is as good as mine. Imprisoning a drake? Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now. Light elf graves. An entire mausoleum. They killed their own to protect their secrets. That's harsh. Yes. But with this secret exposed, perhaps old wounds can begin to heal. I wonder, how'd these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulon could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now bred to aid in traveling the surface. <clears throat> she's gone. That? Well, she's hiding again. It matters not. The knowledge found here will spread. Her work is done. That's the last of the missing schematics. I suspect you've got some new sword helps in your future. Huh. <laughs> 